Welcome to Stonewatch. Here we're checking out the brand new featurette for Star Wars The Acolyte. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can be notified for future videos. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, we are on the next stop for the Hover Hype Train. We get a brand new featurette for Star Wars The Acolyte. They're calling this one Creating The Acolyte. So let's check it out. It's pretty incredible to play a Jedi. The Acolyte is very much an action-packed mystery in the world of Star Wars. Last night, a Jedi was murdered. It doesn't make sense. And the Acolyte, Leslie, takes you on an adventure that lets you inside what she loves about Star Wars. Our show takes place during a time period before George Lucas's prequels. It's farther back on the timeline than we've ever done live action. The story is fueled by all these twists and turns. We have a suspect. An old Padawan of yours. Let me be the one to bring her in. I was very interested in pushing in the direction of martial arts films. When I heard the first person I fight was Carrie Ann Moss, I had a heart attack. Getting like an actual saber was just like... Training for the fights is pretty special. I'm still trying to be cool about it. I consider myself very lucky to have Amandala as May. She's a mysterious figure on a path for revenge. You just can see how dedicated she is. I'm so excited for your fans to see the show. So I don't know, man, that was pretty damn cool, I have to say. That was damn awesome. Now, kind of wonder, I mean, how many of these Jedi are not going to make it out of this series, right? Because they said in The Phantom Menace that they have not seen the Sith in over a thousand years, right? Or is this going to be one of them things that the Jedi Council don't let the rest of the Jedi know? You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're not telling them the truth. Maybe. I mean, I'm not really sure how that's going to go because, I mean... I, I I don't know. I, I've been watching some of the videos with some of the fans and their theories and what have you, and I'm trying not to take that much of that stuff going into this. I want to have the most open mind when I go to watch this thing so I can watch what they're presenting on the screen and just absorb it there. I mean, I'm going to go watch the breakdown videos and stuff after the episodes and stuff like that to see what I missed. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I, I just don't want to have too much information going in. I don't want to go in completely blind either. You know what I mean? I, I want to kind of want to know, but at the same time, I don't want to know too much. I want to be able to enjoy what they put on the screen. Hopefully I do. You know what I mean? I mean, but then again, you know, I like pretty much most of the Star Wars shows and the MCU shows that they've had on Disney+. Plus. I mean, they some of them had issues. I'm not saying that they were perfect because they weren't, you know, but for the most part, I liked it. There were parts in all those shows that I did like. You know what I mean? And I much rather remember the stuff I liked than really stuff I didn't like. I don't, I don't know. But I am getting more and more geeked for this show every time I watch something for this. And like they're almost dropping a video or some kind of like a trailer thing for it every single day. Right? So we're a little less than two weeks away before this thing actually starts dropping on Disney+. Plus, and I am so geeked. So you get a chance to check out this brand new featurette for Star Wars The Acolyte. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? You think this looks any good? Let me know in the comments down below. And are you looking forward to this show? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I'm hoping it's good. I'm going into this with the hope that it's good. Hopefully it is. So that's what you think in the comments down below.